Hi guys, welcome back to How To Tuesdays. So today, as you can tell from the title and the thumbnail and everything, um, today we're doing concealer and it's obviously the concealer that I have on today. And I'm basically teaching you my technique and what I like to do, the do's and don'ts, how to blend it. Um, obviously, if you're new to my channel, hi, I'm Nicole. Hello. How you doing? How you doing? Um, today, we are going in depth with techniques and how to apply the foundation, no, the concealer, um, the type of concealer and everything. I'm not going to get way too in-depth with every single technique and show you how to do every single technique because I can't do that to my face, but um, there will be several videos on that if you want to see, like, you know, how to apply the cream concealers, how to do cream correctors as a concealer, so all of that. I kind of hit a little bit of everything in there, so you guys had an idea of what happened, but I'm teaching you what I do to my face every single time I do makeup and yeah without rambling on and on and making this video super super long welcome to my channel i really hope you enjoyed this video so let's go ahead and get started all right i've done most half-ish of my face i look very pale i know it's the lighting don't worry i'm a bit washed out like this is a bit more natural lighting i guess so it's just it's just the lighting i have it bright so you can see the proper colors but i know i look ghostly like this don't worry, we're gonna fix it. Um, to start, we're gonna grab our concealers, you know? Today's the concealing part, and I feel like it's one of the simplest videos, really, because what you really wanna do is the difference between correctors, actual, like, skin tone concealers, brightening concealers, and just a mishmash of them all, um, which is a bit confusing sometimes. Um, generally, what happens with concealing is that you have a correcting one so for me this is would be a pink shade and um, the pink shades if you look at the color wheel right now um, the pink shades will counteract the blue tones so um, essentially I would place this I'll do a whole video over like actual correcting and things but I'm focusing on the concealers that correct as well as conceal so it's essentially grabbing a concealer that would mask anything like the blue tones from my under eye dark circle so i would apply it that much um this is the maybelline super stay full coverage under eye concealer in the shade 10 fair and usually what i would do is i would just lightly tap it and keep it in that area tap it very very lightly and concentrate it there i wouldn't just drag it all the way out but beca because this is a correcting concealer i want to concentrate the area right there it, to be honest, it'd be easier if you use a smaller sponge or this end. I'm sorry if I sound really congested. I have hay fever right now. <laughs> so, yeah. I'm very allergic to pollen. Very. And there's a lot of pollen outside right now. So, like I said, just keep it concentrated as much as you can in the inner corner. I like to use this flat side um, of the sponge. Yes, it's a bit harder, but I know I can control the product better because I am getting closer to my inner corner so see that technically I wouldn't need any more concealer because I use that but I do go in with a little bit of more concealer because I'm a concealer hoe to be fair I love concealer and you can never go wrong and I don't really believe in too much concealer is too much concealer like I feel like you can always blend it out it's a fail free type of thing and now uh, the next concealer that i'm going to show you this is the elf 16 hour camo concealer in the shade light sand now this has a yellow undertone this would match my skin tone so if i could i could conceal around like my nose my mouth anywhere around my face and it would still someone's playing drums outside i'm so sorry like i don't know what they're doing it sounds like a tribal chant or something so sorry if you hear that Okay, so what I do with this, essentially, it's a very big brush compared to other concealers. And these are brush concealers. These aren't, like, all liquid concealers. I'm going to apply about that much. I put way too much on this side. And this is a very full coverage and matte concealer. I tend to have really dry eyes, but I really, truly moisturize my under eyes a lot. So I'm okay with putting it there. If I hadn't moisturized, I would not recommend this concealer at all because it's very drying. But yeah, if you know how to work with it, then you'll be fine. Um, generally, like, these are the places where I like to conceal because this is my skin tone concealer. Um, on my nose where I get redness around here, I get redness around my nose, I don't have enough full coverage around my mouth. And I like to cover a little bit of my chin because it tends to, like, not cling on- the foundation clings- the foundation tends to not cling on as much as I'd like. As you can see, I'm just using the sponge and, like, the flat side helps me create really sharp edges, so around my lips. 
and then around my nose too. This is a very important step because I can never get enough of the foundation there and if I get too much foundation it gets really cakey. So I prefer to use concealer and barely any foundation there because I know the coverage is going to be there and the foundation won't cake up as much in there. Next I start tapping very gently the concealer and all the way out, all the way to, to my hairline. Now the reason I apply the concealer all the way to my hairline, as you can see I corrected, but now my face, my eyes look a little bit more lifted and bright. Yes, it's very intense right now, I don't have any other color, we're just evening out the skin tone and brightening it, so it doesn't look a bit of a mishmash. So here I'm going to be very careful because I already did my eyebrows and my eye makeup, so I need to be extremely careful that I don't get it on the actual eyeshadow or eyebrows. And that's why I love this sponge. This is the Morphe sponge. Um, it has that like flat edge that you could use. I prefer this to a beauty blender because I get that sharp edge that I could work with around my face. Compared to the beauty blender, I only have this bit and it's a little bit harder to work with for me. And that's my per personal preference. All of that is blended. Now I'm gonna let the concealer sit on my face a little tiny bit before I set it with powder because it's gonna warm up on my face and the way it moves around with the warmth of my face, that's how it's gonna set really. So I want it to warm up, stay like that, and then I can fix it a little bit and then apply powder. Because I don't know if you can see properly, I have creases, natural creases under my eyes. I've had them since I was born, obviously as I've aged. And I'm still young, but as I've aged, I've gotten more and I've realized <laughs> looking at photos back when I was like 17 compared to 22 I've definitely seen a difference so I leave it like that now you, what you could do is use a brush to blend it out and essentially what you would do is apply the concealer and then just tap it no, don't rub it away because it's just gonna move the whole foundation and it's gonna be a mess I don't recommend this for beginners because it can get very messy and you can get brush streaks and it's just not as blended as you would like so that's why I 100% recommend a sponge, a damp sponge, um, compared to a brush. But you can definitely use a brush and then go over it with the sponge so you don't have those brush strokes. Um, the brush that I recommend, the one that I'm holding here that just flung way over there, um, <laughs> it's the Real Technique setting brush. It looks like this, it's the pink one. You can get the single one like this. I've bought, I have three of them because I really like this brush. It's very versatile, you can use it for a lot of things on your face. It's very easy to control because it's smaller. Um, I've used it to set my eyes, to blend out concealer, contour, um, bronzer, blush, highlight, like powder highlight, everything. I've used it for everything. Um, it's a very versatile brush, so I really recommend this one. It's like, it works like a concealer sometimes too. This is very, very pink, so it's essentially just for correcting. This is the Becca Under Eye Brightening Corrector. I've had this for ages. It lasts you ages. I love it. You only need the tiniest bit. And I usually use, sorry, this is dirty, but I use um, a goat bristled or any of these like white synthetic brushes or you know natural brushes it depends on what you want and what you like um, to blend it out because it's a lot easier to blend out things with these kinds of brushes this is why I highly recommend these brushes to have them in your kit um, because you could use them for eyeshadow you can use them to blend out concealer little parts like around your nose maybe it's a little bit more difficult to get in with the sponge and you really want to get in there and then go over it with the sponge it just it, it depends and it's up to you right now I'm just only teaching you concealing and conceal and correcting concealers um, not the actual correcting like scheme and things that's a really long video and I don't want to make this video way too long compared to the foundation one because that one was so long um, but yeah, you can definitely use um, cream concealers with this brush to blend them out. And to apply them, you can use a flat concealer brush that looks like this. This is what it looks like. It's very thin. It goes into an oval, oval shape. And this puts the concealer down. This is just the same version of a paddle brush, a foundation paddle brush, but in the mini version. So yeah, I wouldn't recommend this for concealer because it's way too big and you can get really messy. So I prefer like using smaller ones because it's a smaller, more delicate area. Now, definitely what you could also use, excuse the dirtiness and the filthiness of this palette, this is what I use in the mirror. Um, this is the Revolution Ultra Cream Contour Palette. Um, and what I want to show you is that concealers can also come like in this shape, so they're cream concealers. And they're much thicker in consistency, like I said, much more full coverage. And you can get like a more intense base with that for the concealer, but I don't really recommend them because they can get very like taking way down and you feel them because because it's such a delicate area around your eyes especially 
when you put it down there, it kind of feels very heavy and like you have a lot of makeup on if you just wipe that concealer on and blend it out. You can definitely do that, but I'm just going to show you the methods that I really like to do right now. Um, I'll show you the cream concealing method with the highlighting and everything. As for now, I'm just going to stick to the creams. I've shown you the other products. And now that I've let this set a little bit more, you can see that it starts to settle in the creases and it's warmed up now. So now I can go over it with a sponge. And before I go into the powder, I am going to apply a tiny bit more because I do, um, I don't really need it, but I, I generally like it because when I apply powder, sometimes you take concealer off. Um, so it, it looks a bit odd when you have like discoloration, like, you know, full coverage base and then you have a little bit of like less color around your eyes. So I tend to go for this like extra mile that you don't really need to do, but I like to. Um, and this is grabbing a creamier concealer than the last one, so it's not the correcting concealer. And it's not my skin tone concealer. This is um, a neutral toned um, concealer. It's the Revolution Conceal and Define Concealer. Um, it's really good. It's really affordable. You can get in Superdrug. I believe you can also get them at Beauty Bay if you don't have a Superdrug near you. But this is amazing so it does come kind of like in the same shape as the other concealer that i showed you the elf one and what i like to do is just apply the tiniest amount here because you can't really see it because i have good lighting on right now but if i were to decrease the brightness of this like you can start to see around like where the area that i put you can still kind of see that i don't have as much coloration in there so i'm gonna conceal it and again grabbing my sponge and just lightly ever so lightly the lightest tap like i'm barely putting any pressure so i get more full coverage the more you push it into your skin um that like the harder that you push into your skin the more you're gonna soak it up into the sponge and not your actual face so just be very careful you've already got like a bunch of concealer so i'm just gonna drag the rest over there and i'm gonna do the same for this side and now that i've put that last concealer i'm going to set my under eye. I use the same powder for all of my face because it's very easy to use. Um, it's the RCMA No Color Powder. This is a universal shade um, because it's translucent so it has essentially no color. So I really like it because it's also really finely milled and it doesn't cake up. Now I've set my under eyes right there, um, I'm not going to set my entire face because I've still got more cream products to do but I'm going to do that off camera, I'm just here to show you the concealing part. As you saw I'm just tapping the powder in ever so slightly, do not pull down, do not smudge, do not buff yet. The creams are still wet and you need to pat the powder on first before you start like working it out because otherwise you're going to make a, like, a cakey crumbly mess of paste so be very careful. You have to pat it first. And make sure your whole face is set before you start blending and brushing and putting powders on top like that. If you want to do that, you can do that. Um, there are people that do do that with um, do do. Um, there are people that do do that with um, creams. They just go ahead with powders, but those are more experienced um, makeup artists. So um, as a beginner, I just recommend put the powder on ever so slightly, a tiny amount. You don't need a lot, and start patting before you start dragging any product. Because pat is different to drag or brush away like it's the technique and as i'm showing you i've always kept my hand at this angle this is where how i do all my makeup it's easier i never point any of the brushes like that to do the techniques only if i want to get a precise type of thing that i'm looking for i'll do that but just be careful of that but yeah aside from that the only thing i want to say about concealing is um that as, instead of using this powder sometimes for my under eyes i used a colored powder in the sense of a color correcting powder so if i have blue undertones and i still feel like you can still see them through this powder or something like that then i would go ahead and like apply this powder very 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 thinly a very thin layer because after that i will go ahead and bake um i'll show you the baking technique and what to do and how to do it with like a whole other video um but you could grab for me for example to cancel out the blue tones if you look at the color wheel if you, to cancel out the blue tones, you go to the pink side. So I grab pink powder that's finely milled and I bake with it and I just lay it on top of my skin. And I apply a good amount, a good layer while I'm doing other stuff, over, uh, uh, other parts of my face. And then I brush it away and it kind of gives it a thin mask of correction if I still feel like I need it. 
Um, the one that I really like, it's really far away and I don't want to go and grab it and make a mess, but I'll put it right here. The one that I really like is the Revolution Lace um, Powder. I really like that one. It's pink, um, so it comes, it corrects, but for different skin tones, you don't use pink for everything. It depends on your skin tone and it depends on what you, what color you're trying to correct and cancel out. So I'll go into a whole correcting video and that if you um, are interested in that, go ahead and click on it. Um, if the video is already uploaded, I put a card up here somewhere at the end of the video. There's a whole playlist of the How To Tuesday type of thing, so you can watch that. Um, but aside from that, I'm going to do my makeup um, and come right back so I can think of my teeth. So this is the finished look guys, I really hope you liked it, I had a lot of fun playing with makeup, I got a bit inspired as you can tell, um you know, a little bit of inspiration from the dress, initially I was going to do like green, orange, you know the thing, so yeah, um, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you on my next video, bye!